Mohammed Ben Sulayem was appointed as the president of the FIA. This came after a whirlwind of a finale at the 2021 season that saw the championship battle go down to the final lap of the final race. Since his appointment, there have been a ton of changes in the Formula 1 world. So at the Monaco GP, Grand Prix 24-7's Agnes Kallier sat down with the FIA president. When asked, what should the sport not become in your opinion, the president had a very controversial reply. He said, Nicky Lauda and Alan Prost only cared about driving. Now Vettel drives a rainbow bicycle. Lewis is passionate about human rights and Norris addresses mental health. Everybody has the right to think. To me, it's about deciding whether we should impose our belief in something over the sport all the time. I am from an Arabian culture. I am international and Muslim. I do not impose my beliefs on other people. No way. Never. If you look at my operation in the UAE, 16 nationalities. Name me one federation that has many nationalities. On top, they are over 34% women and 7 religions, and even more Christians than Muslims. I am proud because it creates credibility and merit. But do I go on about my beliefs? No, the rules are there. Even now there are issues when it comes to, for example, jewellery. I didn't write that. So yeah, that is what the president said. In particular, the part about Nikki Laura and Alan Prost only caring about driving has received a lot of opinions online. Drivers have regularly used their platforms to speak about issues that are plaguing the world. Hamilton and Vettel have never shied away from being blunt and bold in what they have to say. But the new FIA president thinks that they should just focus on racing. This is certainly a new development. But the one thing that got to me is the fact that he said Nicky Lauda only cared about racing. It's worth mentioning that Nicky Lauda has always been a spokesperson for safety in Formula 1. In 1976, Formula 1 was scheduled to race at the famous Green Hell, the Nürburgring. This circuit is a massive circuit with acres of forest right beside the tracks. The lap times around this circuit are around the 7 minute mark for a single lap in Formula 1. So you can only imagine the size of the circuit. And that's why a race over here required a surplus of marshals, doctors and overall race personnel to ensure that the race went on safely. So when it started raining during the race weekend, Nicky Lauda was the first driver to protest this and he said the track was ill-equipped to handle the race. However, there was a vote and he lost by just one vote and the race went on. Of course, this is the very same race in which Lauda had his historic crash and he suffered major burn injuries. But the dude came back to race again and that's because he's built different. That's just Nicky Lauda. Of course, if you want to watch the whole story about Nicky Lauda and just what a fighter he was, you have to check out the film Rush. It's a great movie with great music and it just shows you how intense it was to drive back in the day. But coming back to Nicky Lauda just caring about racing, in 1962, the racing governing body introduced a new clause in the driver's super license. This clause now gave the team's power to negotiate the contracts of their drivers. This led to all of the drivers protesting against it. And the protest was headed by Nicky Lauda. None of the drivers took part in qualifying sessions until this issue was resolved. The race was in South Africa and the governing body eventually changed the clause. So for the president of the FIA to come out and say that Nicky Lauda and Alan Prost only cared about driving, Vettel drives a rainbow bicycle, Lewis is passionate about human rights and Norris addresses mental health. A statement like that is just plain disrespectful to the drivers, the sport, the FIA and of course to the millions of fans across the world. So that was me, Samuel, for Fervent Motorsports. If you do like all things Formula 1, MotoGP or even Dakar related, please do hit that subscribe button to keep in touch with all things motorsport.